All right, guys, it's Mrs. LG. We're here this weekend on a three-day weekend because of Labor Day. I uh, got to spend a lot of time with Lawful, and it was a lot of fun, but um, he's getting close to leaving, so we decided to, for the Tuesday dump this week, we'd clean out the, car, or the, out the truck, and since I used to clean these trucks out for a living, I thought we'd give you all of the tricks in the trade about all of it and show you the products and the best way to do it. And cause there's a lot of things that you wouldn't think would go into cleaning these trucks. And it's, it's a pain sometimes. So we'll show you how to do this and we'll pretty much go step by step and what products to use. That's all I can really say. And go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to get some notifications and hit that like button. And we really appreciate you guys and appreciate all the support you guys have given my husband because I mean he enjoys doing this and you can just tell that he appreciates all of you guys and you guys have given him a lot of encouragement and kind words and as a wife you wouldn't want anything more for your husband than to have drive and to just enjoy what he does because he used to work in the office and he really does enjoy being a truck driver and talking to you guys on a weekly basis. I'm just happy. He's happy. Again, thank you guys. And now let's go and we'll do the Tuesday dump. All right, peeps. So as my lovely wife just introduced the, this week's Tuesday dump, we're over here. Well, we're at the terminal of the Brownsburg terminal. And uh, we're gonna use the vacuums they got on site. Like she said, my wife used to clean these trucks. And she's pretty goddamn good at it. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. It was amazing, all right? And uh, yeah, so. What? Who the fuck thought I was bad? Don't mess with my mojo and my flow, all right? You're making it harder because I gotta edit this stuff when we're done. God, I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was talking about. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean this truck. Um, I do keep the truck relatively clean. It's, you guys, for those of you that have studied anything about TMC or have or worked for TMC or come to TMC or wanna to come to TMC or whatever, you all, it, it, one of the biggest things that I know that people say about TMC is the cleanliness, cleanliness of the trucks. And yes, that is a big thing here at TMC. You need to take pride in your equipment. And uh, these trucks, I mean, these are your home away from home. You want to keep these clean. You always want to make sure that these are presentable. And it makes a world of difference. I've had DOT officers commend me on how clean my trucks are. Um, a lot of times, that's one of the big things that when DOT officers look at, they look at the cleanliness of your truck. If you keep your truck clean, chances are you keep your logs clean. Uh, duh, ah, crazy how it, something like that works, right? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean this truck and uh, show you guys some tips and tricks on how to do it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna vacuum out the truck. Now, one other thing that my wife recommends, and I agree, because as you can see, I actually already have one in my truck. They're just, they're just a brush. Like, they, they look like a tooth, toothbrush. That's, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It's a cleaning toothbrush. What we're gonna go through is we're gonna pull everything out. We're gonna use this to get in the nooks and crannies first. We're gonna get all the dirt on the nooks and crannies, and then we're gonna use the vacuum to vacuum all that up. little brush. As I'm doing my side, my Mrs. Giraffe over there, Mrs. LG is doing her side. So I uh, did my side to loosen up all the dirt, making it easier for the vacuum to go ahead and vacuum everything up. So now I'm going to grab the vacuum. Duh. Sweet. So <laughs> as you guys just saw, we vacuumed. That's the easy part, right? Loosen up the dirt, vacuum out the dirt. Everyone knows how to do that easy. Now at TMC, TMC gives us a couple different cleaning solutions that we can use. They give us glass cleaner, obviously, you know, what you would use for cleaning the windows. 
And then they also give you this carpet cleaner now, and it doesn't do anything. However, glass cleaner, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but in glass cleaners, they have, uh, what is it? Ammonia. Uh, they got ammonia in the glass cleaner. Right here, ammonia. Now this is this works great. I honestly tell you guys the truth. I use glass cleaner for everything. Uh, I use it for cleaning the floors, cleaning the dash, cleaning the seats, cleaning the ceilings, cleaning everything. Yep, you can even use this on the carpet material in the truck. The big thing about that ammonia, pneumonia, ammonia. It get, what it does is it gets in there and it eats away at the dirt. It loosens the dirt up and it really it actually. Like if you got stains and stuff, this will actually eat away the stains. It'll get in there and it'll help loosen up the stains and it makes it easier, especially when you're cleaning like the ceilings. Because I don't know what it is, trainees like to touch things. Uh, it drives me bananas. But this stuff works great. So um, for those of you that drive a TNC and if you're using the carpet cleaner and it works for you, cool, awesome, continue. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying that for me personally, it doesn't do anything. So I always recommend you just go ahead and use the glass cleaner. Um, yeah, and as you're gonna see, I mean, this is literally what we're about to use to clean the entire front half of the truck. So, um, yeah, show you guys how it works. When it comes to cleaning the floors, the floor is just easy. I'm just gonna keg everything, make sure everything's all nice and white. As you guys just saw, my wife, she just. Yeah, I mean, this, so you guys can see, this is, we sprayed the entire floor. The floor is covered in the glass cleaner. And then you can go to, you can go to a dollar store and just get one of these easy little brushes at a dollar store. And you just use this and you just start cleaning. Start scrubbing, scrub all the dirt. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna take these paper towels and I'm just gonna wipe down the floor with the paper towels. All right, so that way the glass cleaner loosened up all the dirt and then this is actually gonna pick up all the dirt. That's it. See? Dirt. We're gonna pick it all up. Just like that, see all the dirt, yay. We've already cleaned the floor. Uh, that took us like what, five minutes? It's actually taking me longer now to readjust and set up the camera to show you guys different angles and it actually does take me just to clean this thing, so. Um, but yeah, so we got the floor, the floor is done. Uh, the mats, usually what I do for the mats is whenever I go to a truck wash, I take the mats out, I have them just real quick power spray because the mats are gonna collect the most dirt, especially when you guys are out there at job sites and stuff like that. But uh, the terminal's closed today for the holiday, so we can't actually go to the truck. Truck wash right here on the terminal, so we won't be able to do that. But everything else, like you just saw, we just cleaned the floor, floor's already done. Next, we're gonna do the dash. All right, so next dash, dash what we're gonna do. Like I said, glass cleaner, yay! thing for you guys this part of the dash right here where all your instruments are your steering wheel and everything um, there's a lot of guys and I used to do this myself until my wife actually explained this to me I used to just come in with a glass cleaner and I would just <sighs> just cover everything the problem is though is then you, you're not actually gonna you're gonna you're gonna get dirt in the corners of things that you're not gonna fully be able to get out if you do it that way same with the steering wheel so what my wife actually taught me, just grab a few paper towels, take a glass cleaner. And put it directly on the paper towel. Then, you just take it like so. And that's, 
from your steering wheel, just, just the top half. And I clean the steering wheel consistently, because I mean, you know, me and the trannies, this is what we're touching all the time. So you can just see, that's just from the top half of the steering wheel. That's crazy. Same for the dash, the front half. Right up in here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Bye bye, smears. Is that a smear? Wait. Yeah, that's a smear. That's a smear. Alright, so what's next? Alright, next we're gonna do all this right here, and then we're gonna do the tremble as well too. Same thing as before. Boop, boop. Boop. And then what are you doing with the brush? It's not a brush. The Q tip. The Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. Preferably a clean one. Preferably. <laughs> and then and right in here. As you see, everything is clean. This is all done. So we have done the floors. We've done the dash, the top and front. You're gonna clean your windows. You're gonna use glass cleaner, so I, I feel like it's pretty redundant to cover that with you guys. So you just use glass cleaner. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the doors. And then we're, we're good. All right, and then we got the door. Now in, there's this little pocket inside the door. So obviously what we're gonna do first we're gonna vacuum this pocket out. And then just like you saw on the inside, we're just gonna take it all in glass cleaner. I literally set the camera up to do my door. Just did the vacuum portion and she's already done with her door. That's how quick this is. I'm spending more time setting this camera up to clean the street because I'm gonna clean the truck than it actually is to take cleaning the truck. It's crazy. Like she said, you just let it dry now, and bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So that's it. No stains, stains, stains be gone. But as you guys just saw, that's it. That is this week's Tuesday dump. Just how to clean the truck. It's nothing too fancy, nothing over the top. Um, but I appreciate my wife coming out to help me. There's jokes to be made about this, but I'd get a black eye, so I'm not gonna make any of them. But. <laughs> I really appreciate her coming out to help and her input and her insights and some of the tips and tricks that she knows really helped make a difference for me when I'm cleaning my truck. So hopefully it helps you guys make a difference. Helps make a difference when you guys are cleaning your trucks out there on the road as well too. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments. Uh, I'm always down for making more videos, adding in information that you guys like to share. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. You got anything else you want to say? No. No? All right. Well, that's, uh, that's the draft family checking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tuesday. Don't see you guys next week. Anyway.